Hey guys, welcome to the demo. This is Shivam Saxena. I'm going to be demoing the Utility Control Center software today. I'm here at the Court Right Center of Smart Grid. There's a link in the description for you. And what we've got here at the Smart Grid is heavy renewable energy production capability. So we've got about 38 kilowatts coming from Solar Edge and about 17 kilowatts coming from wind. The loading is very light. So we do see a lot of power flow going back towards the point of common coupling and which results in net metering for us. Uh, so basically the point of this demonstration is to demo the software's ability to respond to grid operator commands in real time. So if there is a severe under voltage here and maybe we want to command these smart inverters to export reactive power back to the grid we can command these inverters through these agents, which are responsible for the operation of the smart grid. Now, there's a lot of agents here. Uh, and if you imagine a, a big utility grid, there's going to be tons of agents, which leads, to, which leads to scalability problems. So in the middle here, we've got this ancillary agent. And this is kind of like your distributed energy resource management system, your DERMS. So what it'll do is translate any of these requests coming from the grid operator to the agents and the agents can intelligently decide how they're going to deal with that request. Uh, this hierarchy follows the IEC 61850 standard, which is a standard we use to make sure everything's up to spec. All right, so now in the demo, what I'm going to do is demo right in here. I'm going to remote in. So this will be accessible to any utility over VPN. We see the front panel here of this LabVIEW developed application, measurements and visualization in real time. We do see that the voltage here is definitely above uh, the 252 volt mark, which is the absolute maximum that you're allowed to operate at. And this value here, negative 23, indicates that we're exporting about 24 kilowatts or 23 kilowatts back to the grid. So to demo the software, what I can do is turn those smart inverters off. So about 20 kilowatts I can affect just by pressing this button. Immediately we see the voltage drop and that's primarily because the active power generation just reduced from 24 to 6. So just as instantaneously I can bring it back up and we go right back to where we started from. If we don't want to disconnect all those DGs, we can set the active power set point on it as well, maybe reduce it by 50%. And that way, we see that drop instantaneously. We are back in the operating voltage limit, but we're still net metering some of the power back. Um, and we can also do close by. So in case there is some reactive power demand, we can bring this to 0 0.9 and we'll definitely see the Q over here pop up. All right, so that's the demo. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed.